At 4.30 in the afternoon on September 13, 1848, a sunny day that would become significant in the history of neuroscience. In the quiet town of Cavendish, in the American state of Vermont, a group of dedicated workers was building a railway near the Canadian border. Among these fearless workers was Phineas Gage, a 25-year-old with a peculiar mission that day, to blast a rock to clear the way for the train tracks. The common method of the time involved drilling a deep hole in the rock and adding gunpowder with the help of an iron rod. However, Phineas had no idea that this day would be marked by tragedy. Carelessly, while talking to a colleague and handling the gunpowder, the iron rod struck the rock, generating a spark. The deafening blast echoed through the town and Phineas Gage's life would change forever. Gage's incredible survival surprised everyone. The six kilogram, three centimeter diameter and over one meter long iron rod completely pierced his head, ending about 20 meters away from where he was. Even more astonishing, Phineas not only survived, but lived for more than a decade after the accident, defying expectations. The trajectory of the iron rod through Gage's body, from the left cheek to the top of the skull, left his colleagues in despair. Taking him to Dr. John Harlow, the expectation was a grim diagnosis. However, the reality was different. Phineas was experiencing a serious hemorrhage. The doctor acted quickly to stop the bleeding, but something peculiar caught his attention. Despite the frightening image, Gage was conscious and faced his suffering with remarkable courage. Harlow, with medical skill, shaved Gage's hair, cleaned the wounds with a needle and removed bone fragments and bits of brain scattered around. He then sewed up the holes and adorned Phineas's head with an elegant hat. The early days of recovery were delicate with seizures, restlessness and delusions. The doctor described peculiar symptoms such as protruding eyeballs and an unpleasant odour coming from Gage's mouth. Fungi began to grow in the wounds, requiring the application of a caustic substance. The challenges were so great that friends even prepared a coffin. However, the unexpected happened. Gage began to recover rapidly. Less than a month after the accident, he could stand, surprising everyone by walking as before in just a few months. However, the price of this miracle revealed itself in the radical change in Phineas Gage's personality. Once a calm and polite young man, he transformed into a rude and irritable person. His temperament became uncontrollable, full of fits of rage, leading to his dismissal by the railway company where he had returned to work after the accident. Dr. John Harlow, aware that the change in behaviour went beyond a simple mood alteration, believed that the parts of the brain affected by the accident were the explanation. Years later, his suspicions were confirmed when studying Gage's skull. The iron rod hit the frontal lobe, a crucial part of the brain responsible for our personality, emotions and social interactions. More specifically, it hit the prefrontal cortex, responsible for logical reasoning and thought control. Phineas Gage's case not only revolutionised neuroscience, but also triggered intense debates in phrenology a pseudoscience that relates the shape of the skull to intelligence. Its impact extended to lobotomy, with some considering this case as the first lobotomy in history. However, science is always evolving, and interpretations of scientific facts can change over time. Phineas Gage's skull and the famous iron rod remain on display, unintentionally recalling the man who became one of the most important names in the history of neuroscience. In 2012, scientists reproduced the accident in a laboratory, providing new insights into the extent of Gage's brain damage. Interestingly, in 2012, a similar case occurred in Brazil when a worker had a two-metre rod passing through his head. Like Gage, he recovered, but is now part of the growing body of studies on such extraordinary cases. The lasting interest in stories like Phineas Gage's lies in human fascination with mystery and the unknown. Our brain, the organ that survived such an extraordinary trauma, is also the instrument that seeks to understand how such a feat was possible. Phineas Gage's story 
even 200 years after his birth, continues to influence scholars and fuel global curiosity. His skull on display and the plaque in the town of Cavendish are symbolic testimonies of a journey that challenged the understanding of the human brain, reaffirming that, in the end, it is the same organ that asks, answers and formulates new questions. After all, what else can our brain be capable of? The mystery persists, feeding the flame of human curiosity. I hope... Like me, you have been fascinated by the incredible story of Phineas Gage. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share your comments. Thank you very much, and until the next video.